Hi, I'm Charles Cronwell from the Environment Agency and uh, we're here today for the opening of February Fish Pass. I've been on this project for, well, five, six years and it's just so exciting to see the water finally coming round in this common bypass that you see behind us uh, and bypassing Beverly Weir, which is to my right. Um, this is going to be so easy now for fish to come up, salmon, but particularly the shad, which is what we're working on here, to move upstream and to go back to their historic spawning grounds. Hi, I'm Jason Leach, Programme Director at Canal River Trust, the Unlock the Seven project. Today has been a momentous occasion, I mean, it's been a five to six year project for partners. Canal River Trust has leads, we've worked with the Environment Agency, Natural England, and the Seven Rivers Trust, with amazing funding, funding from Heritage Fund and Life from Europe. We've brought together all our expertise to get these fish passes in place. So I'm uh, Mike Wynn Stanley, I'm the Head of River Restoration at the Seven Rivers Trust. Today we're here to see the, the unveiling, if you like, of the whole new bypass channel at Beverly Island. It's a culmination of such a lot of hard work with partners uh, and basically it's going to make such a difference for fish passes, for our salmon, for the different species of shad, and so many other species of fish and biodiversity. And certainly it's going to leave a lasting legacy for generations.